Okay guys, I finished up with using every inch of my papers and I keep saying that um, just wait till you use all your papers when you did the most important things. Decorating tags is not a priority so just wait till that till the very very end. Even the background of a pocket is not a priority. Just first do everything that's inside that you wanted to decorate so you don't get short on papers. I know how difficult it is. I keep saying that. I know it's difficult to follow a tutorial and end up exactly the same amount of papers that I do. It's maybe an, an impossible doing so <laughs> so but i'm going to show you all the tags that are inside so maybe if you are having the same amount of papers then maybe you got an idea how to spend your leftover pieces all right so and then the last thing is decorating the front but i'm first of all i want to show you all the tags that i decorate extra so this we did share together and um and these are some extra tags with all my leftover pieces just make a big tag then i added this um this um already uh, tag on it but as a little tuck spot and then you can tuck your photo or an extra tag behind it so that is what i put in this big pocket then we close this extra photo frame flippery thing back and then we just put this back in. So the rest, um, yeah, all my tags I made or booklets, booklets with or um, just simple tags where you can still write something on the back. So this is everything is done, I think. Oh yeah, I just added also a tag on this big booklet, notebook actually. Then I created this one also with my leftover ribbons. Just that simple booklet that fits nicely in this pocket. Oop, I have to be aware of the ribbon. And then this is a nice big tag which I decorated with leftover papers. And then this also, same as the top. Just gonna lift my pocket up so I don't ruin the ribbon. And further, I think we we'll did this together. Yep, that's just a big, big photo mat. And then this is the closure. Um, here I did uh, manage the inside, which I normally always do. Just simple, a little extra decoration. The rest was already done with some leftover pieces. Then these tags I also did together with you and then we have the notebook. So yeah, I did not have that much left, but now all pockets are filled and everything what I had left is inside this book. All right, but I keep telling you that if you aren't Having that amount of papers left same as I did, then don't worry, you don't need to fill it up with tags. You just fill it up with your photos or whatever letters or folders or documents you want to keep in this album. Alright, so now I have to do my final last thing. I already prepared my flowers with cutting all the irons on the back. Don't ever cut too short. Always leave a little on it. I'm just gonna lay that flat. That is how I prepared all my cuttings. I did also cut the leaves off of my green leaf. Um, and so yeah, I'm just gonna... There is also a, a fluffy uh, piece in your, um, in your... In your... In your... I call this a sack, a basket... Um, a bag, it's a bag, plastic bag, a plastic, plastic bag, it is toys bag. <laughs> uh, you can use it um, with decoration or um, I just had it left and the color it fits amazing with this project. So that's why I added it in. Um, you can do whatever you want it, but maybe I'm going to tuck some in here and there. So 
check it out stay tuned and we're gonna play some I always like to play first so nothing is glued down just yet it's just an idea um I don't know maybe it's also nice to have a little corner right here so yes it's always a little struggle but just play a little bit with the flowers that you have just see what what is going where it's going just play a little along I don't know um Go with the flow, guys. Go with the flow. <laughs> yeah, there are a lot of a lot of flowers to be used, but always struggle a little. But but in the end, it's just go with the flow. I'm just gonna turn this so it's easier to start because I definitely want to have this angle. I guess. Just move this around a little bit. I also can make, doesn't have to be a special, a perfect angle. I also can make it this, oh, this is also nice. Maybe I like this better than just a perfect angle. And then just go a little deeper here and a little more. like this maybe what do you say because then I also can add a little right here I don't know just keep moving till you think oh yeah that is the shape that I want what do you say that is also very cute hmm I do like this also Let's start. So the most important thing I always say, start with the biggest ones. <clears throat> From big to small. And um, I'm just going to start with this one. So I'm not starting completely in this corner. I'm just going to leave this a little... A little space. All right, those three are the bulkiest ones, so that is my start. Squeeze this a little flat, keep this a little open. Alright, that is cool. <laughs> I like that. Alright, so from here we are just going to collect everything we want. And I'm going to push this near where I just ended up with. having a little cemetery
the least we can do later. Um, let's see. Alright, I need to stop for just a little moment because I do want a little corner right here. <coughs> Let's see, I need to... Oh, so cute. And then I like this a little to the edge. What do you think so far? Am I nuts? <laughs> I also want to do these small ones at the bottom. smallest ones <gasps> oh yeah that's my worst next worst nightmare every time sometimes it fall down not being as cautious as I should be what? Nothing to worry about. It fell not on the album, thank God. Alright, so these four I have <coughs> left. Back to see it better. Oh yeah, definitely. I want to have one more right here. What do you think? Okay. <clears throat> oh, perfect. <laughs> If you don't have exactly the same amount of flowers, I 
think you have, but sometimes maybe I miscount. I do all day, always. I do my best. I do my best. Sometimes. I have to admit that sometimes I miss pack. And I'm just going to go in with my little leaves. That is also not in every package. The same thing. These are so cute, so small. Okay, I waited too long for this. Sometimes I just need to check where I want things. And I'm quiet when I'm focused, guys, I know. <laughs> I know that I'm focused. But I do my best. I do my best. I'm gonna leave this for now. Let's go to here if I can put some leaves on. My chair is nicely getting on my nerves right now. Maybe not perfect leaves, but I had to do with what I have. See from front. Where else can we put some little leaves? I don't want to overdo it, but I think right here. Mm -hmm. 
My youngest dog is already <laughs> not amused that I'm up here. <laughs> What do you think so far? Am I nuts? No, I don't think so. Just go with the flow, guys. Just keep adding till you are satisfied. You actually can't overdo it. This is my last one, I guess. Almost last one. This is my last one, and then I'm going to see if I can add some some ribbon for the final touch. Let's see what I have. These are absolutely gorgeous to push in here and there. Let's see how this... Just make a little bow. My chair is killing me. Well, maybe this is too big for this. Maybe just just gonna try this, guys. Fold a double, grab. A pin set and then just see if you can this is actually pretty big Oh, that is so cute. Okay, just a little amount of glue. And then try to leave, put something up. And then just put it in. Just a little tiny bit. Oh, this is so cute. So cute. Don't 
Don't overdo it. <laughs> I always say that to myself. But <laughs> Sometimes I do that myself. It's a little fluffy. This is super cute. Yeah, I like that. I'm gonna try to do that a little bit on here too. You don't need much. Just a little blue. This is cute. And then she was quiet again. What do you think about the color combinations? I didn't like it. I think I did my stinky best to add a nice color palette for the Flowers, if I may say so myself. Okay, I do have these two ribbons left. My last one. Don't burn yourself. Let's see where I want this one. What do you think? I think that's the finishing touch. Oh God, I love it. Yeah, cool. I really like it. All right, so I'm going to clean up the little threads that the hot glue will leave behind. And also on my fingernails, everything is on. 
Um, the last final thing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, use some white gesso. Um, where is it? Is that this one? This glue. Don't I have some white gesso? Oh yeah, yep. Yeah, not not white gesso, but this one. <coughs> I'm gonna sprinkle that a little here and there on the flowers. This is Delusions White Linen Ink Spray. I don't spray it on, but I'm just gonna just sprinkle a little on the flowers. Why do I do this? Well, it makes the flowers just a little lighter I would love to do this not too much but Yeah, for me this is the finishing touch, but you can hate it, you can love it. best not to overdo this but <laughs> now if you don't have this the reason why I like this is because um, yeah I just have this right in front of me to grab this but you just also can use if you have some white acrylic paint just put that on a piece of paper, add some little water uh, on it, and then you have the same, same thing. Just, I always like to do that. All right, go and stop. So you don't have to have this, but for me it's easy. All right, so I'm just going to let this dry, and I hope you like it. So here is the little results with my white splashing around I like it <laughs> okay um yeah what else can we add I think I got it guys so hope to see you next time I uh, hope you like it and um, yeah yeah I really hope that you liked it okay see you next time bye bye Okay guys, so yeah, this is my latest project. It's a huge mini album. Not calling a mini album, it's a huge album. And the sizes are, let's see, yeah, I think an eight and a half by, how you measure this? It's so huge. By well, almost 12, but it's, it's not. Let's say an 11 and a half. <laughs> so it's it's huge it's definitely wow and the spine is a three three and a half spine um for the centimeters it's 21 by 29 and a half 
centimeters and it's eight centimeters thick all right so yeah if you are looking for a big album to make then you will definitely like to follow this tutorial uh, because of course i made a tutorial and um but yeah let me go in and let me let me show you uh, everything else all right so let me first go to the outside i decorated it of course with some flowers and i hope you like it i i do at least i just I'm in love with the color combinations and um, so yeah I definitely love this image also so cute oh let me first tell you which papers that I use it's from Fleur Designs Genteel it's called uh, origi originally um, I had this quite a while in my stash finally time to use it I don't think that it's anywhere available right now I don't know but it, it's from a few years back but I really like it and I'm so happy that I finally could use it I um, so then I so this is the paper that I used for the front then I used this beautiful fabric yeah kind of lace kind of fluffy thing fabric it's just fabric i really like it and i just added some uh, ribbon at the front to decorate it all and at the back i use a different lace but almost the same so yep let's go inside all right so my first page this is the um a protection sheet and uh wait just a second my, st my chair is so annoying i really need to oil it <laughs> and i keep saying that for a week now but I, f I really need to do that all right so um i do have a few protection sheets they are easily be made with some document folders or other uh clear stacks you can use i just cut it in in half so it's only one sheet so i just do that to protect um some issues that are in this album to avoid that something is damaged all right so this is my first page as you can see right here there is a nice little pocket at the bottom where you can add a little tags inside or a little booklet it's totally up to you what you want to add in here but i just added these three little tags and then we have a big tag which you can add a nice picture at the bottom right here and then you have loads of space for adding extra pictures then a nice extra uh, picture frame right here also love this carousel and then on the left side there are also so extra uh, place for photos then inside this big pocket there is a nice tag which you can use to write something down or also put some photos on same as this one it's a little tuck spot writing spot photo spot whatever you want to do with these big tags you also can take them out and put your photos inside totally up to you and then this big booklet holds this everything down and then we have a big pocket underneath which is also a great opportunity to add more pictures in and now i realize that in all these tunnels i totally forgot to add an insert inside i always forget that i don't know why but <laughs> i always do all right so then you just flip this um clear sheet and then this will be um nicely saved for everything what's going on on this page okay next page we have two pockets right here and this, these are just simple booklets where you can add your pictures inside or write something down super cute i did cut out um sometimes uh, this this beautiful notch and i created um, a template which we are going to make together in the tutorial just and if you will see what i use for that you will laugh but follow the tutorial and you will see that and then on top here we also have a nice booklet same thing 
and I just cut out the top of this carousel to make to make this um, pocket a little fun could not resist using that and then this flips to the left these two actually and then we have a big space for photos love that difficult for me because I normally do not do big places just simple adding um, paper on it but sometimes it's necessary all right and then on this left side we have a little swing tab so this flips open so you can have white spots whiting spots or adding a little picture same thing with this one and then same right here just open this up and then you have a nice whiting spot or place for photo and then also a nice tag at the back and then this one is also a pocket where you have another tag inside same thing with this one look how beautiful that is love it all right and then we go to this page all right here we have a big well two big pockets with two I guess two booklets yep place for photo white spots and there is one right here too as you can see I just keep doing that <laughs> use all your scraps I just love to do that and you can make so many extra tags with those with that then this um, goes right here and then here we have a um, swing tab that flips up writing spot place for photo or reverse that's totally up to you and then in the back there is a big pocket and I added some um, papers inside which you can use for adding pictures or write some your memorial book yeah yeah write some memories on it <laughs> and just put this back and this flips to the right here we have also two pockets which are all something inside nice tags where you can add your extra photos on just as many as you want of course then this flips to the right and then here you have a big tag or um, page where you can yeah for me if, if I would choose that I will write something down here but you also can place a nice photo and right here on this side we have made a little tuck spot so you can write something down here but you still have place for photo right there then this goes to the left and then here another big um, background where you can add a nice big picture or two small ones totally up to you and here we have a nice pocket with another booklet inside this was actually not particularly a die, but I will tell you in the tutorial what I use for that. Um, super cute. And then this all goes back. And then I first need to put this back in the pockets before we continuing with the next with the next with the next page all right so the next page is again we have a clear sheet a protection sheet to avoid anything that will be damaged i really like that um then these are just two simple uh pockets but simple but cute love these and i just added two um I call these booklets yep two booklets where you can add your pictures on and a nice leftover tag that fits right here so just two simple pockets but oh gosh I love those then we go to the next page the next page this is a nice booklet again love that so loads of places to write something down adding pictures on here super cute then this opens up and you still can add your pictures right here of course and you open this up then i have two little tuck spots 
but it could not resist. Could not resist adding a few little extra spots for adding these beautiful little note cards inside. Let's go back in. There you go. And then here I created again a big pocket and a big tag with extra place for photos. But you still can add your things in here, of course. And then this closes down and then this is the closure. Then we go to the next page. Okay, the next page is again with an... Um, do you know, do you notice how fast I forget words? Protection sheet. And again, a protection sheet. <laughs> oh, I get the mention. I don't know. And then we, of course, two nice beautiful spots. And then you have this closure. You open that up. Place for photos. Photo, 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 photo. Here you also can add a photo if you want. And then at the back there is a pocket I added a tag, but you still can add your own pictures inside. And then this closes everything down with a ribbon. There you go. The same thing right here. Just a few little pages for a waterfall and a nice big tag at the end. There you go, then we flip this to the left and then we have some flippable extra place for photos. So you can place your photo right here and then we have a nice booklet inside where you still can add loads of pictures in. And same thing right here, now this one is uh, removable so you can add your picture on. So. And on the back it's a booklet. Then this flips to the left, both they are. And then I created again two incisions for adding these lovely tags inside. Same with this one. Oh, I love these tags. It is even a booklet. <laughs> I sometimes I do forget. If it is it a tag, is the booklet, but the more place for photos, the better. And then we have the same thing right here. Also a nice booklet. You can use it this way or this way. That's totally up to you. Same thing right here. Oh, look at the images. I just ah, adore this collection. It's so, so baroque style. I can't say that enough how much I like it. And then here we also have... A nice booklet inside with this one also and still add pictures on here so so many place for photos absolutely and then these little belly but this this these little belly bands and that gives you also a nice place for adding your pictures or a nice booklet oh, look at this I'm in love. I am so, so in love. And also a nice booklet. And to decoration, I placed this inside. Oh, I just love it. I can't say that enough. And I will not say that enough. Oh, I do say that enough. <laughs> okay. And then for the last page, um, I made a storage box thing um, with this closure. A women closure and uh, let's open this up and it's a nice clear door and then inside I made a big booklet very nice shabby one with loads of pages inside as you can see there are I think 12 pages inside so yeah I really like it and at the front a nice little pocket where you can add these tags in. 
So what do you think? And you can store uh, all your photos or letters or whatever you want to add in here. It, it's, it's a nice big box. So we close that down with this ribbon. And then the storage box is closed. So what do you think? Do you like this album? Do you like it? I definitely like it. I fell in love with the papers and I'm so glad that I finally could use it and I am very happy how it turns out everything. So yeah, thank God. <laughs> I always struggle so much and I do not need to, but yeah, I'm that kind of person. So give me a big thumbs up if you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And um, yeah, hope to see you next time. Bye bye.